Hey guys, Mike Fulton here. If you're watching On Deck with Tyler Revin. Welcome into On Deck. I'm Tyler Revin. As always, thank you so much for watching. Braves had a pretty good day today at spring training, winning 12 to nothing against the Tampa Bay Rays. Max Fried had the start. A couple highlights here: Christian Pache, Grayson Jennison, and Peter O'Brien all hit homers. The offense was just on fire. Adam Duvall had a big double. Tyler Flowers had a hit. Johan Camargo and Riley combined for four and six. Nothing really to complain about, but a few things I noticed that I wanted to go over. First off, let's start with the starting pitcher, Max Fried. He had two and two-thirds innings scoreless, but it wasn't the best we've seen out of Max Fried before. Of course, his first start was pretty bad. He didn't really even make it out of the first inning before being taken out. So a good comeback here to make it through two and two-thirds scoreless. But as Kevin McAlphin from 680, who, by the way, if you don't follow 680 on YouTube, I suggest you go check them out. They have day in, day out, behind the scenes access to spring training, and of course during the regular season as well. But Kevin McAlphin was quoted as saying it was effectively wild today, and of course we want to see him have more control on that curveball, and we can't wait to see that. But until he gets that down, I'm a little bit worried about his condition, because if the Braves are going to be successful, they for sure need a successful max fleet. Other than that, another pitcher that caught my attention, Darren O'Day. We all know how good he is out of the bullpen, and he was that today. Perfect inning in the fourth inning, two strikeouts, and nothing really else to say about it. Very successful day for Darren O'Day. Good to see him healthy and ready to start this year. Ian Anderson came in for two innings, both scoreless. And if you don't know who Ian Anderson is, you might want to go check out some of his highlights. You might want to look at some of his stats and the minors. He'll be up in the next year or two. He is going to be on fire. The Braves have a really stout pitching staff right now, but Ian Anderson is going to be the next Mike Soroka, next Max Fried, next young guy to come through and really make his mark. The offense, of course, I mentioned earlier, there were three homers today, one by Peter O'Brien, one by Christian Pache, and one by Grayson Jeniston, who is, of course, a prospect in a Braves organization. Everybody wants to talk about Pache, and I get it. It's a lot of excitement about him right now. Everybody's comparing him to the great outfielders that we've seen before. His outfield skills are, of course, tremendous, but his offense is really coming around, too. If you didn't catch my interview with Andrew Jones, Andrew credited his bat finally coming around to meet those great outfield skills, and that's always great to hear out of a future Hall of Famer and Andrew Jones. Also, Camargo and Riley combined for four and six on the day. Riley actually started at first base tonight so they could both get some at-bats at spring training. Best wishes to Freddie Freeman. We all know he's still healing up from that so talked about uh, elbow irritation. I think he's going to be fine, guys. But anyway, Riley got the start tonight because of that, and he performed pretty well. They both went two for three to combine for four and six. Good to see out of them as this third base battle continues. Pretty interesting to see Camargo starting at third over Riley. Just going to throw that out there. Get the uh, comment section talking, you know, nothing, nothing too big, but always good to see competition going on at spring training. That's all I got today out of spring training. What did you notice? Is there anything big that I missed? I doubt there is. There was a lot to go on today in the offense. Of course, the Braves won 12-0. Tomorrow, Mike fulton Evans faces off against the Red Sox 1 p.m., and then the Phillies come into Northport, and we can't wait to see that division rivalry take place in spring training for the first time. Of course, the Phillies got their brand new manager in Joe Girardi, and that'll be really exciting to see what he's done with this Phillies team and how they've developed. So until then, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell for notifications so that you can be notified all throughout spring training about what the Braves are doing, and of course, special behind the scenes here at On Deck.